Do you know what supracurricular activities are? And do you know how they will help you with your studies? If not, keep watching and I'm going to explain all. My name is Lucy Parsons and I help students get the top grades in their exams and into their dream universities. And that's exactly what I'm going to be helping you with today. So you've probably heard of extracurricular activities, which are the things that you do over and above the curriculum, such as sport and music. However, do you know what supracurricular activities are and why they are important? So what are supracurricular activities? They are the things that you do to extend and deepen your knowledge of the curriculum. So they help you to demonstrate to admissions tutors, who are the people who decide whether to give you a place at university, um, the level of passion and commitment that you have to a subject or the subject that you want to study. And they enable you to develop your thinking about your subject. And they also deepen your understanding of a subject and help you to fall in love with it, which is really important if you're going to spend lots and lots of time studying it. So how do you develop your supracurricular activities? Well, firstly, you identify the subjects that you want to know more about. So it's not realistic, particularly if you're at GCSE level and you've maybe got 10 subjects that you are studying at the moment to go um, further and deeper with all of them. So it's really important that you identify the ones that are really important to you, that you're most interested in, and that you um, look for supracurricular activities around those particular subjects. So then have a think about what resources are available to you. So maybe um, you have books in the school library that will help you. Maybe there are periodicals or newspapers in the school library that are available to you. Um, there are all sorts of places that you can go to find out the information. Another thing you can do is ask your subject teacher what you should be doing. So they might be able to recommend to you particular books or particular magazines or periodicals, and they might be able to lend them to you as well. They might also be able to advise you on places that you can go or visit, such as museums, galleries, or places of interest that will really help you with your learning. And then have a think about what else you could do. So is there a course that you could take, a conference that you could go to, a summer school that you could attend? There's so many different things that you can do to further and extend your learning. So when should you start with all of these things? My answer is that you should start as early as possible. If you're doing it with an eye on a university application, particularly to a top university like Oxford or Cambridge, I'd suggest starting no later than the summer of year 11. So maybe you've watched this video and you're like, right, yeah, I'm going to get on with this. But maybe you're like, oh, I don't really know where to start. And you'd like a little bit of help. So if you would like to, some help, um, I'd like you to consider jo joining my top 10 mastermind programme, which is for year 11 and 12 students and is designed to help them identify which supracurricular activities they need for their chosen university courses and to create a plan of action to put it all into place. I then keep them accountable to make it happen. And you can find out more on this web page on my website, livemoreextraordinary.com forward slash top dash 10 dash mastermind. So if you'd like to know more about this topic, you can come over to the blog post that goes with it and you'll find that at lifemoreextraordinary.com forward slash supracurricular. Finally, if you've really enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Life More Extraordinary, to get more similar videos every single week that will help you get the top grades in your exams and into your dream university. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, please like and follow my Facebook page and you will also get to see more videos like this there. Thank you so much for watching. I really wish you um, good luck and to have fun with your supracurricular supracurricular activities. See you soon!